Okay, you guys, this wasn't planned, so we're just winging it. But Bob is in the house. He was dropping off some inventory, as he does. Um, and we are already preparing for the next show, which is September 11, 12th, and 13th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. at Brick and Barn at the historic Betty Crocker Estate at 29200 Miller Road. What's very exciting is that our products together are all 20% 20 per, 20 off, and then you're going to get select items in all the other, the other vendor's spots, also 20% off. But here across the board. So if there's a piece you've had your eye on, now is your chance. We don't do this again. We're not going to do it in the future. This is a one-time thing. It's called Spring Cleaning and Summer. The 2020 show is coming up. And who better to talk about some history of these amazing pieces, incredible antiques, than Bob the Great himself. Bob? Hey. Come on in, Bob. Good evening, everybody. All these people have been coming in and saying, where's Bob? We haven't seen him lately. Well, Marlies said, let's get together and let's talk about the new things that are in and the very rare antiques that some people don't know what they are. So we're going to do that. We might slip in something yeah. 21st century that's really neat, but yes. that could happen. We're very, very excited. You guys, we have a bunch of videos with Bob. You can look them up. It's in the title, uh, History with Bob, on our YouTube channel. And you can always see he's talking about why some of these pieces are more expensive than others, the full story behind all of them, down to the materials and the maker and the model and the marks and all that stuff. And you guys know, quickly, 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 Bob had one of the most successful antique shops in California back in the day. So he knows his stuff. He is here today, back, and we're going to start fast and we're going to move hot. You ready? Let's, let's do it. Or, quit bragging about me. Okay. It embarrasses okay. me. Bob, uh, okay. Bob, we want to start over here, I think. Uh, I look over here. So you guys, Bob has a lot of history with cars. Yeah. I'm going to let him talk to you about this. European license plate. We're not sure. It could be English. It could be British. It's somewhere in that category. You want to uh, hold that up and show it? Sure. Isn't nice, that amazing? collectible for a license plate collector. Wouldn't find many of them in this country. Yeah, and I love the, the um, it definitely has that, that British feel, the European Absolutely. feel. Absolutely. It's $39, $32, yeah. and then you're going to get 20% off right. of that. Amazing piece to just put up in a man cave or an office, a boy's room, something fun like that. No, look up there. There's another European plate. Mm -hmm. Somebody's made it into a candle holder. Yeah. And absolutely an interesting way to do a license plate. I've never seen that done anywhere else. And you guys, this is kind of left over from our road trip show. So yep. when you come in this next month, it's not going to look like this. I'll get you a price check. Uh, it's not going to look like this uh, next show, but we're kind of highlighting some of our favorite sure. pieces that are historic. Early 1920s steering wheel of oh, an antique car. $18 on that English, um, the, license, the plate. license plate candle holder, $18 with 20% off. Yeah. Now this, Bob, tell me about this. Okay. This is off an early automobile, our truck possibly, we don't know. It's all wood, it's in very good condition. There's a little separation there. I didn't choose to glue it, but somebody else can and clamp it. Uh, it could be decorated, it could photograph some cars in it. It could be put on the wall. It could be it's a frame, good. great idea. And we don't get these. I had this for a special car meet that was canceled this year. So now it's coming into brick and barn with some other quality pieces. Now I'm gonna show you a taxi meter. It's like Wait driving Miss that. Daisy. Yeah. And the price on that is $50 again, you guys. Yeah. Extremely rare. Let's get this taxi meter out. Okay. Off. This is something that... We will get that out. Yeah. And the little cable that goes Okay, ready. so Uber, your Uber driver isn't using <laughs> this, is he? They don't love it. Now, let me tell you about this. It's two-sided. It's probably early 20th century. But the passengers can read it. That's for the, I think one's for the driver, one's for the passenger, one tells the cost and the trip and the miles. This thing is driven by a speedometer cable. We haven't used speedometer cables in the United States for a long time. They're all electronic. Oh, Bob. It winds up in ticks. It winds up in ticks. Sounds like a bomb, <laughs> but it's not. No. It's a taxi meter. Taxi meter. And it's um, $75 antique taxi cab uh, meter. Mm hmm. Little misspelling in there but you yeah. get the idea that's the way i am yeah right? so and you guys this is a great uh a great collector's item especially if you're into anything cars related oh yeah absolutely. or Good if you know fun. someone who works for uber or lyft yeah what a great gift somebody, or maybe not somebody might, not. might have a woody or something and want to make them look like a taxi i mean there's things you can do with these things that's what she said there Bob. we go okay All putting right, that back that table, put 85 dollars Keeping that together. Yes, okay. absolutely. Next. Oh, Bob, while we're here. Oh, yeah, while we're here. You can spank your kids with that. But yeah, you can. Slap them on the back of the wrist. 
Model T Ford gas gauge. There was no gas gauge in the, in the Model T. You stuck the stick in the gas tank at the top, and it says Ford gasoline, and it's got Model T years on it, 1928 to 1929. Uh, two-sided for two different years, two different gas tanks on a Model T Ford. We, had we two actually of them. have two of them. Where's the other one? The other one's sold. sold. Other one's sold. sold at the show. Okay. This is, I believe, what they call the dipstick. Yeah, and that's what you do. You dip it in the gas tank. Dipstick. <laughs> fun, 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 fun. What Bob? else we got in this car? Oh, Bob, do you want to quickly talk about this guy? Yes. Okay, here we go. Uh, I got it. Yeah. Back in the day, when I was a mechanic, this is what we used. And everybody knows, I tell everybody, I'm 86 years old, and I used to roll around on one of these. This happens to be from my house. It's one of my old ones. No way. Yeah. I didn't know that. Now, what you can do with that, this is what you can do. Okay, I'm going to pick up. See the headrest? <laughs> <laughs> the headrest will come off. You can use it as a rack. You can display things in it up on the wall. Leave the wheels on it. <laughs> We're having fun, aren't we, today? We are, Bob. Anyway, so that will come off. I was going to wheel like on it. it. You can hang stuff from it as a rack. You can put it vertically, horizontally. You could or you can roll around on the floor with it. You could use it. You can use it under the car. It's got wheels on it, the old type. But who, who honestly changes their oil these days? Nobody. Nobody I don't knows. even do it. I know. What about Mount Palomar? Oh, yeah. We This wasn't on our list, but go no. for it. No. Okay, we got a music stand from the college from Palomar Music. And they're where they have their band, I assume. Yeah, so like musicians, uh, forty-six dollars, twenty percent off of that, and I don't know if I mentioned the uh, the what are these called? Creeper call. You call it a creeper, but we call it a jeeper creeper is what we used to call it. I think it's also called a whatever it is. Anyway, give me another name. Right Forty-nine dollars. Yeah, isn't that great? Forget what it's called. Uh, oak, but yeah, that's oak too. Oak. Oh, something I want to talk about. You want to talk about surfboard? Sure. Lamp? That's not very antique but no but i said i'm gonna slip in a few looks like i've been working on a car yeah that's what you get well we can okay let's briefly. profile it i'll move this aside so you sure. guys you guys know our show uh again was a uh, road trip so we wanted you to get the feeling that you went to the beach and then the gas station and then the diner so this was kind of our beach scene uh that is 80 dollars beautiful piece i want you to pan if you don't mind from the base all the way to the top Beautiful inlaid wood. Uh, we've got the rattan, uh, kind of the, the, the straw yeah. uh, lampshade. Beautiful piece. You want to tell me about that, Bob? Yeah, it's a miniature of a of a surfboard. Look at the keel. Look at the inlaid wood. Uh, I'm going to say that lamp is probably out of the '60s when the big rage started on surfing. Mm -hmm. So I think. We had a couple of belly boards and we sold one of those. I'm surprised the surfboard didn't sell, but it's here for you. Yeah, and, and it's discounted now. And we're not, you guys, I, I know I'm skipping a lot of things. I just, right now, we're going over the historic yeah. pieces that I, right, let's not that go he can dig into that a little bit more than I can. So uh, we want to come over here and talk about, well, one, I tried to convince my husband to buy this yesterday and really? put on his man cave. Yeah. Uh, as the door, but he seems to think it would be too much weight for the door okay. he's working with. But it's amazing. It's amazing, and I got another idea. How about a wall rack? A wall rack. Horizontally. It doesn't have to be a door pool. $85. A lot of age on that. Blacksmith work. Ooh. Wonderful. Yeah. Then this came in, this show, and we actually have a vendor who's interested in looking at this piece, um, a darling little children's picnic table. You don't see them like this, and we had plants all over it, so excuse the mess. No. Uh, but this is an adorable piece, Bob. Show, show the end of it, it's so fancy, if you can get in there with all the other articles. Never had one before, and I gotta tell you, I put a lot of hours into this. This was this a total good. wreck, Busted, and I put it back exactly as it was. I antiqued the wood, put the same colors back on it, so it's totally restored, ready for your grandkids, or your kids. Or your... Yeah, or the little girls. <laughs> I mean, I could technically... There you go. ...use it. You look good in there. Thanks, Bob. Thanks. Yeah. It works. It uh, works. Let's go to some other okay. old stuff here. We uh, we, we're going to kind of skip over this, because okay. I All do right. want to talk about that... Um, th this. This, Bob. Remember this? You wanted to talk about this? Yeah. Uh, this is a New England candle stand. They, some of them were tilt. This is a permanent one. Uh, it's in old uh, maple. It's got 
a refinish on it, which was done many years ago, 19th century. Uh, we've seen them a lot in New England. We don't see them here in California, but it's a beautiful table. They're a nice lamp stand. You use it for $76. Yeah. Um, it's got the trifecta leg action going right. on there. And I can tell you, in New England, that's a $200 table. So, but we're not in New England. Okay, this came in actually today, yeah. but uh, since Bob's here, I want to talk about this. This is pretty cool. Um, those of you who like cats, yeah. um, it says... Um, cat food. It's like gata or cata, oh, but which is in another... some other language. Yeah. Spanish, maybe? I no, don't know. No, that's not... Spanish because the the cat is K A T A cata fruta. I don't know what that is. It could be is. Italian. Somebody I don't know. I don't speak Italian. Italian. But anyway, that's really really cute. Uh, Bob just brought that in. Yeah. And again, if you want any of these items over the phone or you see anything in the background, call us. We are selling between the show. Yeah. I just that came out. Thirty nine dollars for that croc. Um, and that ain't a crock, is it, Bob? Well, it's a jug crock. I don't know what you're doing. It's not a crock. Of, you know what? He didn't get my. Hey, I, I, I got it. I have okay. to watch my language. Okay, okay. Come on. Um, he does want to talk about something I'm very, 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 very excited for him to profile because this came in and nobody knew the history of this. Okay. Uh, we have two of them. You want to tell them what yep. this is? I'm even going to take it apart rather quickly. So it's $80, and I want to tell you why this is. Show them how it looks. Yeah. Here, I'll show you how this looks. Yeah, okay, that one. We'll leave that one together. It has a locking, a stick, and this one's falling out. It's just a meat skewer. World War II. The Chinese and Japanese people, although these are Chinese, would work in the factories. They bring their lunch with them. There's one lid in all the serving dishes. Oh, and the base serves as the next lid. Yes, and it lifts out of there, comes out. Um, one of them is more than is marked. It's not a new Chinese item. I eat in a wonderful Chinese restaurant in Bonzo. I brought this in. The lady, Chinese lady, took it into the kitchen to the chef who is Chinese, and he said he had one when he was a boy. So I know how good these are and how rare, and type them in in your In computer. your World Wide Web. Pronounce that name for me. That's what it lunch. is. Lunch, so it says lunch buckets and stand and plate called a Tiffin, T-I-F-F-I-N. You're not gonna find them anywhere else unless you go to China. <laughs> yeah, and they, and they, they, and you don't, it's cheaper for you to get it here rather than you to it sure fly is. to China. And get it. You're going to fall over when you see what they're priced at. They're $80, as we mentioned. Um, but you know what, Bob? They're what? worth it. They are. Thank as we say, go find it. Go find it. Don't we say that? Look sure. at that. Anyway, that locks down. We'll fix that up later and get that off. But this is how it looks. Yeah, that's so, assembled. We got two. When it's um, when school's back in session or right. it's time to go to work. Your kid would be the most popular kid. In Are you kidding me? I know. Salad, uh, rice, rice, rice. They're trying to have rice, chop suey on it. Chop and suey. anything you want. You could have bread pudding. You could have all kinds of great things. Homemade okay. food. Okay, Bob, can you talk to me about that little uh, volunteer fire department uh, truck right there? Right. This is one of the better ones we've ever had. This is the second one we've had. It's complete with the ladders, the hose reel, uh, the bell, the fire helmet. It is what they call the second series. We don't want to fool anybody and say it was made back in the 20s or 30s, but it was probably made in the 1970s. It's a revival of these toys. Uh, this company no longer does these. Uh, all the stenciling is there. It's perfect. But I think uh, anybody with young children would love that. It's workable and displayed as well. It's $150. Um, amazing, worth it. We've we've had a couple of these, very very fair price. Yeah, and um, not as good. And not as good as that one. No, no you're right. I want and, to talk about something. And this is the last thing yeah. we want to talk about. Very quickly, we know our customers quite well to know that a lot of them have horses, and a lot of them have a really special farrier who comes to their house. Well, back in the day. The farrier came with this on his horse and buggy. This thing was not brought around in a truck or anything like that. And they reshoed your horses. Horse nails went in there. The other material that they worked with was in the bottom box. What a great planter, what a great gift. If you've got a farrier that comes regular and he's a collector, he's gonna blow his mind. I think it's, I've never, this second, I should, I never, I've had one before it was reproduction. This is not, so. Think about it. I might get it for my chicken farrier. Yeah. It's also got casters on it. The, the little feet. 
Okay. Okay, you guys, we are so, so excited. Um, and again, the price on that, in case we didn't mention it, uh, is $85. Uh, got some fun things. Oh, Bob, you want to talk about the bike? The bike? The bicycle. Oh, yeah, another 20th sorry. century. Sorry, Hard sorry, to find. Uh, let me tell you about the bike. It's hardly ever been used. If the camera can pick up those little tiny things sticking out of the tires, the little beads. they've never been wore off. So they've rarely ever been used. There was a man in that had a bike shop yesterday, he told me all about it. There's a sticker on it. It was sold at Oceanside. It's a replica of a, a full-size Stingray with a banana seat. Most of that time has been taken off since then. Ready for your little girl to get on and ride. Or boy. All the funny little beads in the wheels are noisemakers. The original decals are on it. It needs a little cleaning up, not much at all. Uh, I used to have those beads on my bike. Yeah, click, 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 Most of the time they fall off and they're gone. I still have them on my car. A great display item or an item to let your grandkids when they come over to take a ride on. Oh my goodness, the main thing I forgot to talk about. Oh, yes, absolutely. Here we go. All naysayers are welcome to learn about this. And this is a carving. It's not a carousel horse. It's to appear It's to appear to be a carousel horse. It's overlaid with copper, hand hammered, decorated, no cracked, no damage. I'm going to say it's uh, 65 years old and around that time. The look, look at all the work. The workmanship is absolutely astonishing. The eye, the marble eye. Uh, I made up the stand. The pole I painted is wood, but it's supposed to look brass. Uh, you can swing it around, you can do things with it, display it differently. This it, looks great in a bay window or... I, yeah, there you go. It came great. out of my house yeah, that's what in the bay did. window. You were over there. So I want to tell you guys, this is $1,450, okay? It is worth every penny. You find that. Find you can. One. You that's can. Right. Yeah. One so of a kind. It will be 20% off of that uh, starting today. Yeah. Throw it out there. So if you have your eye on that, call us up. Amazing woodwork, amazing carving, beautiful, stunning piece. Perhaps one of our most beautiful pieces in the barn right now, um, and it will be at the show. And on that note, Bob. What do you think? You want to talk about some of this uh, Adobe for, uh, doors? We've and done wood? that. We've done that. We've done that. We've done, that. We've done that. So you guys check out our old videos. And Bob, thank you for joining us. Yeah, that was a great spontaneity moment. If there's something that we didn't cover, and when you're in the store, come find me, and I'll explain it to you. Yeah. Uh, we missed a few things because we have this wonderful Call. inventory. We can't cover it all. Right. Call 760-651-2635 to purchase today. Very good.